The northeast of the Central African Republic is one of the most diamond-rich parts of the country. That's where the Celica Rebellion started. Here, precious stones have helped finance the war effort, and relations between diamond cutters and rebels are good. This is really top quality. This stone is good. It's a good stone. I buy diamonds too. The Celica are looking for diamonds. We work the diamonds. We work with diamonds often. Because of this, we get munitions and buy weapons. That's how it is. But business has been slow for diamond cutters since the war began. Ismail has been buying diamonds from rebel zones for a long time and not without trouble. If it's normal people who bring us them, we'll buy. If it's the rebels, we'll also buy. Because they need money and we need goods. We have to buy them. It's just business. And lately it's been difficult because there haven't been enough diamonds. There's no money either because people are scared to invest. We've really suffered a lot. Now diamond dealers hope that their business will pick up. Adika is the number one private diamond buying office in the Central African Republic. The managers are questioning the new authorities. Security is essential. The whole area has to be secure so we can move about freely. These diamonds are exported with a 12% exportation tax, the most expensive in the world. If we didn't take the risks we do today, the state wouldn't have the cash it does. The Central African Republic produces three to 400,000 carats per year, all handmade. Experts say this is less than 1% of the country's mining potential.